Well, the Shadow Treasurer, Chris Bowen, is here with me at Parliament House now. Thank you very much for coming in. Pleasure, Lee. Joe Hockey's pointed out that he inherited a $48 billion deficit from Labor. Despite falling revenue and slow wages growth, he's whittled that down to $35 billion. That deserves congratulations, doesn't it? We were this expecting is... that because of my EFO. This... You know, over the forward estimates, the deficit is proje projected to fall. So that's doesn't... what his document shows. He doesn't write those figures that you just quoted any more he than does. Labor wrote the figures that he does. appeared. He chooses well, you, the figures. You, you wrote the figures and you concocted he, the figures he, in your he, own budget He papers. chooses his own assumptions. It's the Treasurer's own document. So his name on the front. I've announced that under a Labor government, those assumptions and forecasts will be made by the Parliamentary Budget Office at arm's length from the government of the day. That is not the approach that this government takes. These are the Treasurer's figures. Isn't it fair to say that Labor has little credibility when it comes to economic management or assessment, given that you constantly had to revise your own projections for surplus downwards? Look, I've freely acknowledged that the international economy, iron oil prices, have an impact on budgets. If you want to talk about spending up, let's talk again about Labor's credibility, because it backloaded enormous spending increases into the budget beyond the forward estimate, spending that was never accounted for on big policies such as the NDIS and the Gonski education spending. Now, that is just a bomb there waiting for either the return of the Labor Party to government or sitting there for the coalition. It's not responsible economic management. No, I don't accept that, Lee. First... What does Labor see in this budget that it can support? therefore you would be voting for that we, now. We, we support that. We support the lower corporate tax rate. How about the multinational corporation tax crackdown? Because that is an area that you've flagged, they've flagged. Surely you can find some common ground. Oh, look, it's fine as far as it goes. Isn't the issue for Labor that until... You, you point out a few things that you've announced, but until you map out a comprehensive plan for credible budget reform, then aren't voters prudent to reserve a judgement on you and whether you can be trusted to return to government? Yes. Just can't make it a judgement on you until your comprehensive plan is laid out like Joe Hockey's laid his out today. But that is exactly what we've been doing, Lee. I put to you... We you haven't laid out a comprehensive well, Lee, plan yet. I'd put to you... Joe Hockey said in his press, press conference today that the heat is now on Bill Shorten to work cooperatively with the government. That's what business is expecting, isn't it? Well, I think all Australians would want the opposition and government working together on areas where there can be genuine bipartisan agreement. Chris Bowen, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Lee.